let's take a look at what your income could look like. On the left here, you see we have different products, Medicare supplement, final expense, life insurance, and short-term care. There are many other products which you would also be able to earn income on, but I just want to keep it real simple. Medicare supplements pay renewal income. They pay the same amount of income every year over six years. Across the top, you have monthly applications. When somebody becomes a client, the process is to submit an application for that policy. And when that becomes effective, then you get paid. For example, if somebody submits an application today and their effective date is two months from now, then as soon as their policy becomes effective, you get paid. Annual applications is just how many per year. This column would show your new income and you have your renewal income. This will all make more sense in just a minute. This would be your total income each year for Medicare supplements only and your monthly income from Medicare supplements. And then your total annual income, assuming you added in maybe life insurance or short-term care or other products, and then your monthly income for those products. On the right-hand side, this monthly premium is what somebody who is turning 65 would pay for their Medicare supplement insurance. Now, this is going to be different for all different ages. There's different plans, different companies. I'm giving you the lowest cost Medicare supplement. So 130 a month is what the person would pay. That means they would be paying 1560 per year. And your payout rate would be 11% of that annual premium. That's why we use the annual premium. Everything is paid out based on the annual premium. And the same is true for other products down here. So for final expense, life insurance, this assumes that somebody is paying $50 a month or $600 per year. Your payout rate on those is 50%. And then short-term care, same concept, $40 a month is what the client would be paying. And again, these are going to be all over the place. I'm putting low numbers in there so that you are happily surprised instead of disappointed. But in this case, $40 times 12 is 480. Your payout rate on that is 25%. Okay, now if we go back to here, let's say on an annual basis, all you did was found one person to connect me with who needed a Medicare supplement. This could be someone who's getting on Medicare for the first time. <clears throat> Maybe they're retiring soon and they are losing their employer health insurance and they need to start Medicare then, or maybe it's somebody who's already on Medicare because you're able to often get the same exact coverage at another company at a lower price if they are qualified based on their health to do that. So people on Medicare are a great connection. Let's say you have one annual application, only one person becomes a client, and that's all you ever did. You didn't send anybody else. That means your total new income for a year would be $171 and change. You don't have any renewal income until year two. But you can see here, if this is all you did and that person continued to be a client, then you would earn the same amount for the next five years in a row, so six years total. And since we don't have any other products in the mixture over here on the right side, you can see the number is the same. But that means each person who signs up for a Medicare supplement, that means $14 and change into your pocket, assuming they're only paying $130. Now, if they're a little bit older or they get a more expensive policy, okay, $150 bucks, or let's say $170. You can see how it affects your monthly number. But let's keep it at 130, let's assume they're turning 65 and they're just getting started. Let's say all you did was found one of those each year over six years, just one person a year. Now you can see in year two, what happens to your monthly income. 
and then year three, year four, year five, and year six. So if all you did was send six total people, then you're going to pick up an extra thousand dollars per year. What happens if you bumped into two people per year? Now you're at 28 bucks. If you just did that every single year, just bumping into people that you meet out there. All right. You can see what happens to your monthly income. Could you use $170 a month? I could. What happens if you said, Hey, Brian, I'm out there all the time. I wouldn't mind finding one person a month. And keep in mind, a lot of these people are a husband and wife combination. And they're not usually turning 65 at the same time. But if one is 65 now and the other is 62 or 63, then a couple, three years down the road, that other person now becomes a client. And guess what? That's another application that you didn't have to do anything for because you're going to get the income because you referred the first person. All right, but let's say you, let's take all this out of year two, three, four, five, and six. And let's just say you said, all right, I'm going to do my best to find one a month. I'm going to average one person a month who I send to you that becomes a new client. If that's what you did in year one, now you earn 2000 bucks a year or 171 a month. And if you did nothing else, years two through six, you just stopped altogether. Look at your annual income. It's going to stay exactly the same and you're doing absolutely no more work. So what most people think is, geez, it'd be silly if I didn't keep my eye out and my ear out to find new people. Let's say you were able to send one person a month for year two. And let's say you just kept doing that. Your goal is to just find one person a month. Now, in year two, your income is, look at how much it increased. And all you have to do is send those people. I do all the work. All right. So let's take out all of these here. Let's just say, hey, you're only able to find maybe six people in year one. Okay, fine. But what happens if one of them needs a life insurance? I just made another 300 bucks. What if three of them need it? Some of them could be 80 bucks. What if that's the case? You can see how it's not difficult to earn some extra income on the side just by sharing connections in your sphere of influence. What if they needed some short-term care and you picked up three of those? You can see it's all going to add to that income in the yellow section. The best part is the Medicare supplement. They pay out for six years in a row. Again, just want to keep it simple here. So in an ideal world, the ideal connector would be doing average of one a month and you would just keep doing that and keep doing that. But what ends up happening is these people that you send are going to refer other people and they're going to refer other people and they're going to refer other people. And maybe you're talking to your friend about how much income you're able to make just by sending people to me. And your friend now wants to send people. Guess what? That friend is going to be on your team. And when they make money, you'll make money. Not out of their share, but in addition and above their share. And what we'll do is we'll bump up your payout rate. They'll start at the 11% payout rate and you'll bump up to the next payout rate because now you're bringing volume to the table. And now you have a person under you. What if you had two or three people under you? The math gets really ridiculous at that point. Okay, so again, just keeping it real simple. Now, what if you said, you know what? I really like this idea. I want to do two a month. I want to find two people whom a month who are turning 65. I mean, there's 10,000 people every day turning 65 in our country. Let's say you want to find two a month. Maybe it's a husband and wife or two different people. If you did two a month, it's 24 a year. That's $400 a month extra income in your pocket. Would that pay for your car payment, your rent, some of your rent? What if you just kept doing that next year? Now look at that annual income. Where else can you get an annual income increase of nine grand and then have it continue and continue? 
And by the way, this is a little more simple because if these people started in year two, then really year six goes beyond, right? It's a rolling six years. So these people, it's really two, three, four, five, six, and seven, because year seven would be these people's sixth year, if you follow me. Okay, so it's based on when they start the coverage. And what if you just kept doing that, sending me two a month, two a month, two a month? In six years, you've got $25,000 or more of income, over two grand a month, without doing anything. And you wake up in the morning and you have this income coming in and you're not doing anything at all. How great is that? And what if, God forbid, out of all of these people, 24 per year, let's just say 10 of them needed a little final expense policy. Now look at that annual income. And what if 10 of them needed some short-term care? In six years, you've got a almost a $30,000 income. I know it's a ways off, but think about it. pretty insane. And really there's nothing that stops you at two a month. And I can give you ideas on how to approach people, where to find them. But again, this is on the side. Okay. If you really want to get serious and get into this, then let me know. I'm here to help you and have you learn more. But at the very least, the worst case scenario, you're simply introducing me to people who need these things anyway, they need help with Medicare. I'm going to get them straight and make sure they're not ripped off and in the best position possible. And you're going to make extra income.